hello 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 and welcome or welcome back to skillful heart i am so glad that you guys are here with me today i am making something that is so awesome i love this little tub that i made super cute and it can serve for many many different things you can use it as a gift basket and that's that's how i used it or you can use it for decoration in your home um, a prop or anything okay um, so I hope that you guys um, if you're not already make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like what you see hit the like button and we're gonna go ahead and jump into this um, DIY um, so the two things you're gonna need is definitely a bowl which I purchased from the dollar store and then also some clay okay so the bowl will serve as the actual tub and then the clay will serve as the legs and so I'm going for like that claw claw footed the claw feet and so you guys continue to watch you'll see how I made that happen So here I have completed um, the four legs for the tub. And so now I'm kind of just sizing them out, trying to see, you know, um, how's the best way to kind of mold them and push them up against the tub. And this little tool that I'm using, um, can be found in my the little clay kit that I had and it kind of is like a round tip at the end and I use that to kind of push in the clay to help make it look more like a foot and so it kind of gives it more definition um, I also even like made little lines in it you know kind of like an animal has you know toes <laughs> that's kind of what I was doing um, so you will see um, when I get to the section where I'm painting you'll kind of see the lines in the feet um, so yeah, you want to make it as detailed as possible so that it looks like clawed feet. So now I am going in and painting those feet brown, okay? Um, so if you look really closely, I tried to slow down my camera as much as possible so you guys can see the detailing that I did. Um, so that's why I was talking about the little lines I put in. I wanted it to look um, like feet as much as possible. <laughs> um, and also, the brown that I used initially, I believe is the Rich Brown by Anita's, and I, end up, I ended up not liking the look of it i thought it wasn't brown enough so um, i ended up adding in some black acrylic paint mixing it together and so you'll see that a little later um, but i think they came out really nice and so um i did put about two coats two to three coats because i just wanted it to be nice and dark
Alright, so for this part of the video, um, it has been shortened just for, you know, respect to time. I don't want you guys watching a 50-minute video. <laughs> um, but when you are getting ready to attach those feet to the tub, um, you want to make sure that you position them correctly. And so I did a lot of replacing and removing and trying different feet on different sizes because once you bake it, um, it does kind of lose that that shape that you initially had when it was stuck on the on the on the tub before putting it in the oven so um, in order for me to um, glue on the feet onto the tub um, I use E6000 glue and also a glue gun and so my method is I will glue E6000 to the center and E6000 is like a super glue and so it's gonna make sure that it adheres you know for a long time and then I applied the glue gun around the E6000s on the edges. And so that kind of gives it that immediate um, adhesion that I needed um, to continue to work on it. Um, I will say after I glued the pieces together onto the tub, um, I did let it sit for about 24 hours. So I worked on it um, that following day just to make sure that it was nice and secured. And so the steps that I took for those two legs that are on the tub now are the exact same steps that I did for the remaining two feet. Um, and this is the final result. Um, I think this little tub is so stinking cute. <laughs> um, so like I said earlier in the video, I, I made this for a self-care type of basket um, for someone. And... Um, I love the way it turned out, but I think I could use it for so many different things. And so when you guys make this project, let me know in the comments, what do you use it for? Did you use it for a basket to make for somebody? Do you use it for home decoration? And so I kind of just kind of took some video footage around my house so you can see different ways that you could use it. So, you know, right here, maybe you use it for, you know, in your bathroom to hold your soaps or your, or your tissue. Um, I even envisioned like bubbles in this tub. So I took some polyester and filled the tub up. And so it looks like bubbles, but I'm like, I don't even know what you could do with that. But y'all, that's where that creativity comes in, right? Think of something, use something. I don't know why I think it could be like a prop or something. Who knows? 
but um this is what i ended up doing with it um i just uh, made a self-care basket um, with a few things that i picked up from the dollar store um, and also bath and body works And there you have it. There is our claw-footed self-care basket. I mean, this is a great gift for Mother's Day, for a friend, for a wife, for a sister. I mean, for anybody who wants to have some self-care, okay? Spa day. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Skillful Hearts. Um, I hope and pray you guys um, are doing well and have a good rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.